The red dip switch block in the center with the white dip switches have three different controls for your gate operation. Dip switch one is for auto reclose. This turns auto reclose on and off. Up position is on, down position is off. Auto reclose is a countdown. When the gate reaches the open position, it will count down according to the parameter setting that you have set for a time and then automatically close the gate. If you have the dip switch off, it works like a garage door opener where the gate will go open and remain open until it gets another signal to close. This will override any setting in the parameter settings. Dip switch two is for single or dual gate. Up is for a dual gate down is for a single gate. Dip switch 3 is for the E-lock. Note before we mentioned that this terminal is where you would hook up a lock. In order for power to come out of this terminal, you must have dip switch 3 in the up or on position. If it is down, it will not put out any power through this terminal block. There are three buttons on the control board. Set button 1 and button 2. Set is for programming purposes of your parameters. There are six parameters. When you press set, P1 will display. You can check the P1 parameter by pressing button 1 or button 2. Button 2 will decrease the number of that parameter. Button 1 will increase the parameter. Please note, when you press button 1 or button 2 to check the parameter, you are also changing that parameter by one digit when you press that button. Parameter 1 is your runtime. The runtime should be longer than it takes to get from the close to the open limit switch. You should set this at least 5 seconds above the time it takes for windy days and cold days when the gate operator may be running slower. The runtime is in existence in order to have a slowdown time. Without a runtime, you cannot set parameter 2 to have a slowdown time. We will now proceed to parameter 2. To change to the next parameter after you have selected your setting for the existing parameter, press the set button. It will now show P2 on display and we are on parameter 2. Again, you press button 1 or button 2 to change the parameter or view it. Parameter 2 is your slowdown time. Once 11 seconds has expired, the motors will receive 3 quarter power and move at a slower pace for a gentle ending to the cycle. You can change that 11 seconds with button 1 or button 2. You should have an understanding of your full run time in order to set a slowdown time. During operation of the gate, you will notice it will say open or OP and begin counting until it reaches the limit switch. If you observe this counting, you will know the runtime. You can then set your P1 parameter above that runtime to make sure you have room to make adjustments to the slowdown and then select how many seconds you want it to run fast for before it goes into slowdown mode. Once we've selected your P2 setting, and press set to proceed on to P3. P3 is your force setting. This is how much force it will take to obstruct your gate. An obstruction is when your gate operator comes into contact with an obstacle, it stops and reverses. P3 is a very important setting for normal operation. If this setting is too low, the gate operator may not operate. You have to take into consideration things such as weight of your gate, how well your gate swings, wind resistance, and other factors to choose the right force setting. If you choose too low of a force setting, you might see obstructions when nothing is in the path of the gate. Typically, the setting will be somewhere between 20 and 25. P3 
P4 is the delay between leafs. For a dual gate operation, one leaf can start before the other one. This is useful for gate locks and overlaps. Typically, you set this at a number around three or four seconds. The master leaf will always start first on the opening and close second on the closing. P5 is your lock output time. This will only be relevant if your number three dip switch is in the up position to enable the board to put power out of the lock terminal block. You can select an amount of time you want power to be output for. Longer gates may need a longer output to get the leaf sufficiently apart so the gate lock remains unlatched long enough for the gates to open. P6 is your auto reclose time. If your dip switch 1 is in the on position, this time is relevant for how long the gate will stay open before it automatically starts to close. There is no right or wrong to this time, however a very popular one is 10 seconds. But take into consideration the vehicles that will be entering your property. If there are horse trailers or other things of this nature, it may take longer to navigate your driveway and you may wish to leave the gate open longer. Whenever using auto reclose, it is recommended that you use a photo eye to ensure that the gate will not automatically close on a vehicle that is in the path of the gate. Once you finish programming, you press the set button and it will beep three times and go back to normal operation. Once out of programming, button one and button two act the same as the push one terminal and the push two terminal, with button one mimicking the connection between push one and com and button two mimicking the connection between push two and com. These can be used to open your gate during the setup procedure.